guys so this is the oliver tambo house right here in lusaka it's a beautiful small house so this was actually a hideout you know where oliver tambo and other freedom fighters from south africa used to come and hide uh, from the apartheid uh, uh, regime in south africa so they did a lot of activities from this house um, right here in zambia and even zambians most of us actually didn't know that uh, there was such a house here in zambia okay because it was a secret house now if you're new to this channel my name is samson kange and you're watching destination zambia please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe that way you're going to help my channel too Okay, so this is uh, the Oliver Tambo. It was actually declared as a national heritage site for Mr. Tambo uh, back in 2017. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, 2017. So I'm going to get inside and uh, I get a tour of uh, the house. Yes, boss. How are you? I'm okay, sir. Hi, fine. So, yeah, you're going to show me the Oliver Tambo house, uh, which is here in Zambia, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so you can take me through what this house is all about, because uh, when I've been passing here and I've been uh, seeing the house. Uh, so, I was interested because mainly what I do is I go around the country to show people uh, the different sites that we have in Zambia. So, can you kindly show me around? Yeah, okay, yeah. So this is the, the Oliver Tambo Heritage House. Uh, okay. It was a residence for Mr. Tambo. The mm -hmm. And in Zambia, he spent 22 years. Oh, he was in Zambia 22 years? 22 years in Zambia in exile the time he was. And during that time, he was the NC president. Oh, okay. The African National Congress for the ruling party of South Africa. Okay, so that is the time when uh, Nelson Mandela was in prison. The time when Nelson Mandela was in prison, oh. most of the NC leaders, uh -huh. senior leaders, most of them were arrested, uh -huh. and some of course were in exile, like Mr. Tambo. Yes. So he was the president of the NC, uh -huh. the longest serving NC president for 24 years. Okay. So of course he was born on the 27th of October 1917 in Kantoro village oh, okay. of the Pondola and Eastern Cape in South Africa. Uh -huh. So this is the house that has a lot of memories for Tambo. Tambo took Zambia like home. He would leave Zambia for different countries of course, asking the, those nations to help South Africa, of course, to attend their independence, to gain their independence during their liberation struggle. So Tambo of course fought much about uh, against the upper thing that was there to South Africa. Yes, yes. He really fought against that. Uh, so most of his activities, most of NC activities during that period was happening in Zambia. Okay. So Zambia was like uh, the headquarters. Ah. Zambia was like the headquarters for the NC. Okay. Yeah, so Tambo would leave Zambia, goes to Britain, yes. goes to uh, UK, Yes. Just to continue uh, lobbying for support, okay. trying to call upon the leaders of the Mandela and mm -hmm. other NC leaders. Mm -hmm. So, of course, this house, this is where Tambo stayed for so long time. He was in exile. Okay. So, the house, of course, just speaks about what Tambo contributed mm -hmm. to the liberation struggle of South Africa. Yes. It's unfortunate that he never became the head of state. <laughs> he died uh, just a year before, before the general election, before independence. Oh. Tambo died in 1993, then the following year South Africa was independent. Oh, I see. So, where are we are standing right now? What was this? Is this, this is the living room, of course, downstairs. Oh, it's an upstairs house. Oh. So, this is the living room. Mm -hmm. Downstairs. Downstairs house. So, Mr. Tambo. Of course, the house again, it represents what Zambia, the role that the Zambian government played mm -hmm. during the liberation struggle for South Africa. For South Africa, yes. yes. Okay. President Kaunda during that time believed that Tambo was the possible future president of South Africa. South Africa yes. So he was really taken care of by the Zambian government. Mm -hmm. The house was built by the Zambian government and given to Mr. Tambo as a safe place 
Pronounce it Sefal. It's Sefal. So yes. yes. So many people who don't know where they sell souls and know where they tell you to stay here. Because mm-hmm. during that time, the house was called the Pig House. No, 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 So we believe they might have visited secretly. Yes. Because we believe even the time Tam was here, the Southern government really wanted him also to be arrested. Yes. Like exactly. the others. Okay. But of course, uh, Dr. Kenneth Kaunda during that time did not allow that. He kept Mr. Tam of Ensel. And Tam of course went back to South Africa alive. Yes. Okay. Unfortunately, he had some health for the, uh, problems that he was He was going through, he had the first stroke in this house. Oh, okay. He had the first stroke. He had the first stroke. Yeah, the stroke. Yes, okay. Okay. Yeah. Some yeah. 1985, somewhere there. But he did not give up the fight. That's at the time that Kaunda was picked him from here to State House. And from there, he was taken to London for proper medication, of course. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. 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 This is Zambia really helps. Yes, exactly. Yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> really helps uh, the South Africans uh, doing their struggle for free and free and free. Yes, I'm saying. Yeah. So he left Zambia, of course, Mr. Trump on the, on the 15th of December, okay. 1990. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So even before December, we saw the visit of Nelson Mandela, because Mandela was also released in the same year. In the same year. 1990. Mandela okay. was released. And he came to Zambia on the 11th of July, mm-hmm. 1990, Nelson Mandela, to see his friend. Because yes. these guys, they are growing together. Yes, yes, they went to school together. They went to school together, they went to the college, they went together. Yes. They did law together. These guys are a law firm yes. in the Bank of South Africa. Nelson Mandela and Oliver Tambo, they had a law firm that was dedicated to the black people of South Africa. Yes. That could not afford a lawyer at that time. But these guys were offering a free service to the South Africans mm-hmm. during court cases and so forth mm-hmm. the, through their law firm that they had. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. so can you see the other... So we can see around the house. Mm-hmm. So we believe this was just a, a dining. Okay, so this was our dining. Okay. So that was a, just another room that was uh, okay. put across. This is the time that Oliver Tambo left Zambia. Okay, so okay, on okay. December mm-hmm. 1990, lifting up his hands, believing that very soon he will be free. Yes, exactly. Believing that this place will be free. Yes, exactly. Believing that this 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 will be free. Yes, exactly. Mr. Mandela. Okay, so yeah, okay, Mr. I see. Mandela, of course, Mr. visited. Mandela. Of course, he is the first African state that he visited, or the first African country that he visited after his release was Zambia. Zambia, yes. Okay. Not the Af- the first country Mandela visited after his release was Zambia, no. Uh-huh. But in Africa, yes, it was Zambia. Oh, okay, so okay. But, okay. but he first he also went he first went to Sweden okay. before coming to Zambia. Okay. After he released Mandela, he went to Sweden in March. So maybe, maybe that was actually for medical checkups and something like that? It was not really that, but mm-hmm. in all these countries, he went to appreciate them, to thank them oh, for exactly. the role they played during the time he was in prison, yes. the time he was, Oliver Tam was in exile. Yes. He went out there to say, we thank you so much for helping us reach this far in this struggle, in this fight. For, for freedom. Okay, so you were interesting. To appreciate those nations, those countries. Mm-hmm. Okay. So of course you can see there says the uh, Walter Sisulu was also the Secretary oh, yes. General. Walter Sisulu, yes. The Secretary General of the Party. He was also arrested in 1954. Okay. 
and he was also sent to prison. This is the time that he was released in M1918, somewhere there. And so they were meeting for the first time with Mr. Tambo in Sweden again, in Stockholm. Okay. Yeah, so. Okay, so, so this was in Sweden. This, this was in Sweden. Yes, this okay. was in Sweden. Actually explained to me, yeah? yeah. Okay. So before Tambo, of course, became the NC president, mm -hmm. uh, there was Chief Albert Rituli. Yes. You see, the Chief Albert Rituli was the NC president. He died in 1967. After his death, Mandela was elected as the acting president of the NC. Okay. Then he, of course, became the NC president. So he served the NC as the president from 1967 to 1991 the period of about 24 years. Yes. So he made the party very strong in exile. Yes, he was still away from home, from South Africa. The NC party was still very strong yes. in exile. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay, this, this should be, he was a very good coordinator. Yeah. <laughs> away from home, but he managed to coordinate all the political activities in this exactly. country. Okay, I see. So you can see we go upstairs. Yes. Okay, yes. As outside. All right. Different for security reasons. Mm -hmm. Because we leave that's the way why the house was built like that. Mm -hmm. So we have to leave this house. Okay. For us to get to, to upstairs. Okay. Very interesting man, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oliver yeah. Tambo. Yeah, he, he did this part actually. Mm -hmm. Believe. To me, I say it's a, it's a very good house. A oh. Kitchen upstairs. Oh, the upstairs is a kitchen. Okay. Oliver Tango House. Okay. A spare bedroom upstairs. Okay, so this okay. This was a spare bedroom. Yes. Okay. Um, so I'm still right but I'm Adelaide Tamo. Oh, okay. So the next by profession. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. The man was well taken care of. I know what nurses can do. Eh? <laughs> okay. But these people have lived a separate life for so many years. Yeah. Okay. He, was, he, he left this the family in South in London. Yes. Then he started. So this is the bathroom. Yeah. It's in the bathroom. Still intact. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. This house was big, eh? Uh, a living room and go upstairs. Mm. Okay. So you like on the report of April? Oh, the 24th of April, the 1993. Okay, interesting. So, of course, this is interesting. Then, here, let's see with uh, the main mirror again. Yeah. Okay. The main bedroom. Oh, this was the main bedroom this now. The, the master bedroom. Master town, yes. Okay. Okay. Here again, uh, that's the wife, huh? That's the wife, and when Mandela there. Okay, the four now, the four of them, the wife to Nelson Mandela. Okay, Win Mandela, the famous Win Mandela.
to to keep the viewers of Mr. Tambo alive. Yes. Just showing me appreciation of what Mr. Tambo actually contributed. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, this is very good. I've, uh, <laughs> I've learned something at least. You know, during my school time, I actually did a bit of history. So when I saw the uh, at the entrance there, I think that was should be 2018. I saw this house and I was I was interested. I was like, oh, such kind of a house in Zambia, Oliver Tambo House. Okay, okay, interesting, interesting. Okay, now thank you very much, sir. Thank you for this wonderful tour of the Oliver Tambo House. Okay. A complete house it was. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much guys who've come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching and please remember to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe.